I like this. Hard to get this all going, not just tomorrow night, but just get the season going, play at this level. Uh, I'm pretty anxious just to, to to get it going. You know, I've been working a lot, working hard, trying to get ready for this uh, this stage and this kind of atmosphere. And also, it's just you know what comes with it. I think winning the national championships a, a big deal, and uh, just coming together with a group like this uh, is what I've been wanting to do for a while. Getting together with a lot of good players and a great coach that can allow me and the team to get better. So I'm pretty excited. For it. Do you feel any? Cal says it's not fair to compare this year's group of freshmen to last year's. Last year's, he's called it a once in a lifetime kind of thing. But I mean, do you guys feel that though? I mean, you watched those guys play last year. I'm sure that you came in wanting to to try to prove that you guys are, you know, are pretty good in your own right. Was there is there any pressure to to uh, duplicate that success? Not at all. Like I said, you you know what last year's team did. Um, they were a good team. And like I like I said before, we're just focusing on what we have here and what we can do. We're not really focusing on past season. Just focusing on the now. What is it about Coach Cal? I mean, obviously he's got a track record of producing, you know, quick guards that can go and play in the NBA pretty quickly. I mean, what is it about his system you think that allows players like John and, and Tyreek and Derek and hopefully yourself? To, um, to it, it allows players to figure it out. It's really about beating the men. And, um, I think that's what a lot of players want to be able to do is beat their guy off the dribble. So you figure it out. You figure out how you need to be doing that. And overall, once you do that, that helps the offense get going. It helps to pull the offense. So I think that's what – is really uh, attractive about you know, Coach Kyle's offense. Brandon, being the uh, student athlete that you are, especially in high school, now you're transitioning into college play. How important is it to you to get a four-year degree where a lot of players, one and dunners, two and dunners, uh, how important is that to you, getting a college degree here at the University of Kentucky? Uh, it's important. You know, my, fa my family always talks about, you know, the importance of education. Uh, like I said before, you know, basketball isn't forever, but, you know, your mind is forever, so getting a degree is very important. And what, what exactly, uh, if you were, uh, let's say tomorrow the, the basketball was over for you, what career choice would you say you'd make? Uh, I'm not sure yet. You know, I'm undeclared right now in my, uh, my college studies. You know, that's what I plan to figure out, um, you know, as time comes, you know, what I'm interested in. You know, as I work with different classes and stuff like that, I can see, you know, what I you know, wouldn't mind doing for the rest of my life. Has the uh, campus impressed you so far? Uh, yeah, definitely. I just, you know, uh, everyone seems pretty nice. Uh, the setting is cool. I like the atmosphere, and uh, it's, a, it's a good place. As early as the middle, of, as, as early as the middle of last season, uh, there was a lot of talk going around that Brandon Lock, Brandon Lack was a was a cinch, was a lock from the UK. Uh, was there ever any uh, hot truths that was there in the other way from, from, about going somewhere else? Uh, I had made my decision until I made my decision, which was uh, I think late May. I'm not sure, uh, late May or early June, but. Uh, I was I was never a lock until I made my decision. I don't know where the rumors came from, but um, you know, I, I, my top five was basically where I was debating about going. But uh, you know, once I you know, finally just sat down with my family and had to make a decision, uh, I, I felt this was the best place to come. What was the main influence that Calvin had on you? Uh, just the fact that you know uh, he was straightforward, he never promised me anything, and uh, from him, you know, I, I could see you know. Myself getting better, like I said, and like I said, he's a straightforward person. He was able to connect with me, and uh, his goals were kind of my goals, and we kind of envisioned the same thing.